Black cap and garden warbler are found most often in woodland, scrub or gardens with lots of undergrowth. Most black caps arrive around about the end of March, although increasing numbers are spending the winter with us, where they can be aggressive at feeding stations. Garden warblers arrive much later, most of them not appearing in the country until mid-April. Both of these warblers are slightly larger, about the size of a great tit, and for warblers they're both fairly stoutly built as well. Identification of these two closely related species on site is not difficult. Black caps are predominantly grey, the males with a classic black skull cap, but the females and young birds have a chestnut brown cap. Garden warblers are identified principally on their lack of features. They are all over soft brown with paler underparts. A grey patch on the side of the neck can sometimes be obvious and the birds also have quite stocky legs that impression of thickness being emphasised by their pale colour. Telling black cap and garden warbler apart by their song, however, is one of the key identification challenges in British birding, but there are clues to help you. Both of these species are superb and enthusiastic songsters. Black cap's song is rich, bubbly and fluty. The phrases are clear and the song seems measured and considered and doesn't seem hurried. At times, Black Cap's song can almost have a melancholy feel about it. Garden Warbler's song is also beautiful, with some very rich, fluffy notes. But overall, the song can seem very hurried, almost as if, once the bird has started to sing, it doesn't know how to stop. A bit like a pebble rolling downhill, perhaps. Whilst at times, individual phrases from Garden Warbler are rich enough to approach Nightingale in depth, they normally give themselves away by including some harsh, scratchy bird notes that at times can be mistaken for white throat. Garden warblers can switch between these scratchy notes and the rich fluty ones with ease. The calls from these two species are quite different as well. The black cat call is a hard tet tet, almost like two stones being hit together. When very agitated, black caps will string these tech tech calls together and will often come out into the open and be easily seen. Garden warblers, on the other hand, are much shyer when they're calling and are invariably well hidden. Their call is a much less hard, more nasal check check noise. <laughs>